Conroe is our mid-season uh, taper meet. There are uh, four types of meets like this that happen on that weekend, and all of the best 6A teams are swimming at one of them. Conroe just happens to have the, the most. It has it had seven of the top ten teams at state last year, so it'll be very exciting for us to see how we stack up so far in the season. To prepare for Conroe, the team has been doing a lot of sprints, and getting up close to it, we tapered off our practice. We reduced the number of yards, we reduced the number of sprints, and we worked more on technique and turns and dives to make sure we were totally ready for the meet, not worn out or fatigued. Um, Conroe is one of the biggest meets of the season, and Tomas is really trying to um, have a higher standard for us, and we're trying not to be satisfied with um, each of our swims, we just want to get better um, so that when we get to Conroe, we can be there when there. I am super satisfied. We all did surprisingly well, especially me. I broke uh, Coleman's record, which was really satisfying to do, and I was I was really surprised by that, and I'm I'm so happy for that. Our kids really stepped up. Uh, some of them suited and, and shaved a little bit. They had three days rest, and with that, uh, many of them went top times in their 50s and 100s. Uh, I, it, was, it was most impressive, and what was most impressive was uh, our relays on the boys' and the girls' side. Uh, for the first time, well, it seems like almost all year, our girls really stepped up and showed that they can compete with the best in the state. Our girls' 200 free relay uh, currently has the third best time in the state, uh, and it, that's something phenomenal. Uh, the boys are second to South Lake Carroll, and they, they went fast. 125.3, they're already uh, hit the All-American time standard. We're, we're on pace right now to uh, compete for not only first place in that event at the state meet, but to also look at breaking the state record in the 200 free relay. Uh, a lot of excitement. Our team is like one big family and um, over the years you get really close to this one team and it's like it's literally like your second family. You can talk to them about anything and you're with them like five days a week, two to three hours a day or six days a week and so you get to know them really well. We've only been on a few other swim teams. So the summer league teams and the year-round teams and I'd say Clements is really a family thing. Like other teams, it's you show up, you do your practice, you do your meets. And Clements, it's you show up, you go to practice, you socialize, and you hang out with people outside of swimming. 